Here we are in the fourth quarter of 2015. That means the year end is going to be here before we know it. And it's time to start your business plan for 2016. I'm going to give you three tips that I employ every single year, so stick around. For those of you out there that know me at all, you know that I'm real structured and into numbers and charts and Excel spreadsheets and pretty much planning just about everything. So that means as soon as October 1st came around, I started thinking about my 2016 business plan and how I would tweak things to get to that next level in 2016. It's been a great 2015, but I think in this business, you've always got to try to be growing and adapting in order to just kind of stay alive. So what I found is that I'm always just kind of sitting there and I'm thinking about it. Then I'm in the break room and I'm thinking about it. Then I'm in the elevator and I'm thinking about it. I'm in my truck on the way to work and I'm thinking about it. Even in the shower thinking about it. I'm on vacation at Disneyland thinking about it. And of course, well that's enough of that. The point is, you could sit there and spend tons of time thinking about what you can tweak and change in 2016, and honestly, there's tons of different stuff out there that everybody's trying, but here's three quick tips to kind of narrow it down, to help you focus on just making a few changes in your business, because honestly, if you did decent in 2015, you only have to tweak a few things to do you know, that next level in 2016. So starting right off, the first tip, it's an absolute must. You've got to take your closings over the last 12 months and analyze them, and basically narrow it down to the sources that helped you generate those closings. So you should take all your closings, look at how you got them, and basically narrow it down to the few different things that you're doing that actually led to those closings. These are going to be things like past client activities, like work on a farm, like some internet marketing, whatever that is, you narrow it down to what actually resulted in closings. Which brings me to my next step. Next step is to brainstorm two or three different ideas to help you increase the number of leads that you generate from each one of those activities that are already working for you. This could be things like integrating video into your past client marketing, or expanding your branding within your farm, or even integrating a second or third or fourth internet lead source like Zillow or Yelp or Trulia or Google or whatever that is. So whatever your sources are, think of two or three great ideas that other folks have used or that you think you could actually commit to and just implement them. But do it for at least six months because it takes time for these new ideas to really take hold. And so with six months, you'll be able to identify if the time and money you're spending is going to be worth it. Which of course ties into my third piece. When you narrowed all your closings down to the few different things you're doing that actually generate business, something should have clicked. You should have been able to look down at that paper and seen, wow, I'm doing you know, these five things that lead to business, but I'm also doing these other three or four things that aren't doing anything for my bottom line. This is my favorite part. Cut those things out. If you're marketing in a certain area and you didn't get any closings from it last year, stop marketing to that area. If you're spending time or money on something that flat out did not result in any closings or any substantial leads, cut it out. Spend that time and money doing something else. Spend it with your family or spend it on one of those new activities to help generate business from the areas you know that are already working. And not so much a tip as a suggestion, partnering with a great lender partner in 2016 may not bring you a bunch of extra leads, but it could definitely free up your time and eliminate some headaches for you. So I'd love to talk to you anytime, 480-744-6040. If you're enjoying the videos, please click on the like button. If you know of anybody that could benefit from this information, please share it on over with them. And of course, if you'd like to see all of our videos, make sure you click on the subscribe button. You'll get them every single week. Thanks. See you again. Bye.